Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Subnautica, shall we? Picking up where we left off with our complete beginner's guide, and at this point it's just going to be a complete walkthrough of the game. We now have all of the keys, we're ready to go back to the containment facility, uh, and I have a bunch of beacons that I can use as well. I do not need all of these uh, ion cubes, but I will put them in my storage. And here we go. Back down. Oh, I'm just falling. Hi. Big guy. Don't mind me. Oh, it's getting hot. Spicy river. Caliente. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, I ran out of juice just at the right time. Here we go. That's deep in the water. That's real deep. Okay. Party time. We're back. We'll take some more cubes while you're here. Hit me with it. So now, there's a door right here I'm having trouble getting through. Let's put that tablet in there. It's always a good idea in an alien containment facility to disable force fields when you don't know what's behind it. And let's go. Well, what's in here? Okay. Oh, it's just a big swimming pool. Well, um, before we, you know, go for a swim, let's make sure there's nothing else that we can get to in this room. And it doesn't really look like it. Something up there. All right, let's go. I'm in. Okay. Very warm. Warm waters. Nice. All right. I'm, it's looking good. What's that noise? Um. Oh. Are you here? My God. Others came here once. They built these walls. They played alone. They bored me. Now they're gone. And instead, we have you. I'm very nice. We are curious whether you swim with the current or fight against it. 
As they do. I'm with the current. With the current. Whatever I need to be with. Okay. Um, so, let me get a little of the old O2. And come on back down. And I'm going to... Uh, Oh, I don't have my sea glide with me. Well, let's see here. Once you get inside here, there's plenty of things to explore. If you look down at the floor of the ocean uh, in this facility, it's a big old tank for Mama, and there are... Indicate this location supports a diverse and healthy ecosystem. Interesting. Explanation unclear at this time. There we go. Explanation unclear. So what we want to do is come right down here. And you're gonna see some fun stuff. The By the way, unusually passive behavioral patterns in nearby predators. Reason unknown. So the environment scans indicate the water here is rich with a rare plankton-like life form, which depends on the organic detritus produced by the ecosystem around it. Alright. So first of all, start scanning the incubator. And then the emperor eggs. Good. And so this is some kind of kiosk. Now, what's cool, too, is, like, you'll notice all of these fish, like, these guys would normally attack me, but nothing attacks you in here. Uh, so, if there's stuff you still need to scan, I believe you can just scan um, all sorts of things that you may have missed. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm actually looking for... No, I scanned you. This one. This one. Come back. No, it's not you. Never mind. I lied. Um, who do I need to scan? That peeper. Now, that peeper. Why did I need to scan that peeper? Oh, my God. Hi. Yeah, I'm here to play. Um, <laughs> please, just, just play time. What you are going to do in here, obviously, is what I'm doing. Scanning everything that you can. And then uh, keep an eye on your O2. But you can get out, like, here. Check out in the log. Advanced theories. Do, 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 do. Hatching enzymes. Okay. The emperor specimen's eggs are attached to some form of incubator. And this will give you the information you need to help proceed and what's going on. Now, these peepers um, are allowed to come and go from the facility. So why is that? And they approach the sea emperor, and they exhibit a natural affinity for the stomach enzymes being expelled by the emperor. And um, for some reason... The peepers and the other fish in here are not injured by whatever it is that has contaminated us. Uh, so some solution to the cure is perhaps present. Now let me see here. Uh, let me do a self-scan. How am I doing? I'm infected. We already knew this, but... By the way, I'm still kind of, like, being dodgy about everything with the lore because uh, I want you to be able to read it on your own and piece it together on your own and have those, like, aha moments. And there is a teleporter here, but it's, like, buried uncomfortably. So this aquarium arch, what happened? Why? Why, God, why? All right, and then here's where we want to go. De -de 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 -de. All right, insert an ion cube. At this guy. And it turned on. I turned it on. And then Mama wants to talk, I think. 
my young need to hatch. Okay. To play outside this place. Ah, uh, that's fine. We have been here so long. I am sorry. The others built a passage to reach the world outside. I asked them for this freedom, but they could not hear me. If you help us, I will give you freely what the others tried in vain to take. Um, okay, thank you. I'll, I'll insert the hatching enzymes, but I don't have any hatching enzymes. What are hatching enzymes? Well, um, how can I help you? How can I make the hatching enzyme? What is the hatching enzyme? <laughs> Oh, it's something we need to make. I don't know if we've gotten it yet. I don't recall exactly when along this line we get the blueprint for this, but we'll look for it. Okay, I don't think we have it. Let's go talk to her. Oh, there she is. Hi. Um, oh, she's uncovering this for us. That's right. She's blowing away the sand. Thank you. Okay, I appreciate that. Um, let me go ahead and put the cube in there. All right. With the passage you've opened, my young can leave this place. Good. But first they must feel the time is right and break free of their shells. Okay. This is what the others could not force from me. Okay. To you. I give the secret willingly. Thanks. Um, there we go. There's the blueprint. So this is what we need to make. And it's time to go. Not only am I going to die, but it's straight up time to go. And the Sea Emperor's lifestyle, we've got some cycle, rather. Her lifestyle is a mystery. The life cycle we can figure out. And I'm going to try to, you know, escape. There we go. So if I go into blueprints now, let's see, where did I put this thing? Here it is, hatching enzymes. So you're going to need some really weird stuff. You're going to need eye stalk seed, sea crown seed, ghost weed seed, bulb bush sample, and fungal sample. So this is what we need. We'll pin it. We need all of these things. But, just like I was saying... This facility is the key to getting it. Now, I don't know if the aliens were onto it or not, but either way, um, here, go ahead. All right. These teleporters are going to take us to places where we can start finding these things. So now we know that we need Welcome to help out Mama. Captain. And hopefully Mama will be able to cure us. So I'm just going to start going in these. And I recommend you keep track. All right. So facing Mama, we're going to go clockwise if we're facing Mama here to all the different teleporters and see what is outside of them and if they contain the components that we need so we're going to leave and we do need ion cubes derp for this but there's ion cubes in here if you didn't bring any now i'm taking my bronze suit So, what do we see here? Well, if you look at the ground, this looks really ghosty, right? Ghost River styling. And we just follow, you look for a way to get out, follow the pylons, and then here it is. It was hiding 
behind this waterfall. All right, so we can kind of go through here, and this is where we emerge. There's the big Leviathan, and if we search, uh, there's the Ghost River question mark, there's the Seamoth, there's our base, and then, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. yeah, there's our base way over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a beacon. Let me get out. I'm going to go ahead and um, just drop one of these beacons. And we will call this, edit the name. Oh. There we go. Oh, God. No, that's not what I meant. Here, try this again. There we go. Ghost. Telly. Good enough for me. Okay. So we got that in there. And then what we need is to find... Well, you see, we need something ghosty. So what is it? Start going around with your little scanner. Or just your knife. And slice everything that you see. Are you it? Chop it. Are you it? Help me. What about you? Did we get anything now? So we're looking around the teleporter. Here we go. Right here. Ghost. Now this, that's painful, but we got it, right? So we got the seat, and that's all we need. You need one. You don't need more. You can risk your life if you want. Um, oh, we got stuck there almost and died. That was pretty sweet. Right, I'm gonna use a. I'm gonna use a health kit. <laughs> okay, we need to scan that, by the way. So now that I'm, let me do this. Let me be safe about it. Oh, there's free ruby, too. Give me. Break it. I know. I know, I know, I know. Alright. So let me kind of come over here from this side. And... going to exit and just use my scanner. Oh no, I've already scanned it. I thought I saw it light up like I needed to scan something. Maybe it was something else. Okay, sweet. Alrighty. That's it. Done. One of them's done. You only need to make one enzyme. I got two just for redundancy, but you don't need it. You also don't need to leave these teleporters if you don't want to, and you don't even have to do it this way. You can go around your own way. I just did it this way on my Let's Play and found it to be really convenient. Oh my god, I'm stuck. I'm stuck! What's going on here? Why can't I make this jump? You know why? <sighs> I think I'm not in the water. So I can't use my propulsions the way I want to. All right, we're going back. All right, here we go. Okay, so remember, we started clockwise, so we're going to then just continue moving clockwise this way. Now, this one... This room appears to be a biological archive stored in more than 40 indigenous egg specimens in different states of development. Okay, so uh, this is not a teleporter room, and this has all these different eggs. So you can, like, go around 
check things out. Look at this data terminal. Get some data. And what I recommend is just checking to see if there's anything that you need to scan. Mostly it's just a museum for you to look at. No, not really, right? I think we got it all, or we can't scan any of it. That's also probably the case, but we got the data download. So you can read that for some more uh, lore bits. A lot of these um, creature eggs we can find. It might just be a full museum of all the creature eggs in the game that you can find if you wanted to see them. I actually didn't collect all of the eggs, so I'm not 100% certain on that. But then we're going to go this way, and this is a teleporter. Hit it. Boom. Okay, so from here, I'm going to move down and follow this little bridge. Whee! By the way, you totally don't have to take your prom with you. I'm just a very safe person, so I am always in this thing. It can be a pain in the butt to fit it through these. And then we'll come out, and here we are. Where are we? You say, well, that's a good question. You can explore, look around to help locate, but you can also kind of like figure out your position with whatever beacons you have. Um, and I'm going to explore a little bit more to try to figure out why did they drop me off here? Well, what's this? Is this what I need? It looks exactly like what I need. Hey! Don't even mess with me. I'll... You see that? That's your blood. I'll jack you up. I got drills. I think this is... Don't... I told you. I warned you. You mess with me. You messed with me. You... Oh, you trying to get away? No, no, no. You started this. You started it. Come on. Where are you going? Come on. That's right. That's what I thought. All right. So, these little spears of rock that come up down at the ground, you'll see... Uh, here we go. That guy bite me. Hey, that guy bit me. He's back. Alright, so this is an incredibly annoying area. <laughs> this is, again, why I take the prawn suit. So here's um, the, the place. And, look. You guys want to get all messed up. I'll fight you. I didn't think so. Right, let me get this really quickly. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Captain. Um, I don't understand what was just doing damage to me right there. I'm just in the water. Anyway, we got the eye stock, which is what we need. I mean, I took a significant amount of damage. There was nothing around me. Did my prawn suit hurt me? I really couldn't tell you, but, uh... What I will do is I'm going to go in here where I know it's safe-ish. There's those crabs, which is a problem. But I'm going to use my first aid kit. So we're taking a bunch of damage. Um, I'm going to get out, and I am going to drop 
a beacon for future reference because I don't want to spoil too much, but this there's a little bit more that we have to do beyond just this. We can't drop it in here, but we can drop it out here. That isn't what I wanted to do. It's moving around. It's hard to get access to sometimes. All right, here. Come on, beacon. Beacon name. There it is. All right, we're going to change this to... It's going to be... Um, I... Stock... Telly. Now, what this does is just tells you where we come out so that you know, like, oh, this is how I could get back to the teleporter um, and gives you a sense of where the region is. But for the most part, if you um, want to get to the teleporters, you're going to go back to the containment facility. However, if you do find that you're out and about and you're close to one of those beacons, that's why I set them, is then you can come back to the hub and get to any other location. So it could be really convenient. Um, what's not really convenient is if you fall down like this. Aww. Prawn suit, I'm sorry. Alright, we gotta walk up this way. This is the walk of shame. This is the walk of shame. Alright, don't mess up here. Don't fall off. So that's the three on that side, and then we're going to go over here. We have two of what we need. And when we get out... Oh, I've already turned this one on. Derp. I'm like, okay, I'll put the ion cube in. No, it's green. It's green, man. Now where are we, huh? Huh? Oh, this looks familiar. Come on out. And... Well, you see these guys right here? <laughs> that is a creature egg if you want it. This is exactly what we need. This. Common bulb bush. It's just a common bulb, right? Is that all we need? Yes. So that's it. So we have ghost weed, um, eye stalk, and bulb bush. All right. I'll get another one. I forgot to get more than one eye stalk, but it was a dangerous place. Man, speaking of dangerous place, these guys again. So let me get my repair kit out. Fix up my prawn suit. Jeez. Alright, I'm going to go here. And I'm going to drop a beacon. Bink. And I'm going to edit the beacon name like this. And it's going to be... Bulb. Uh, Telly. Alright, fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to get into the uh, prawn here. We have three out of the five ingredients we need for the enzyme. 
we've talked to the big mama. We've explored. We've learned a lot about the story. Um, and we are making tremendous progress at wrapping up the end of this game and potentially getting ourselves cured of whatever nightmare is haunting our system. Everyone, I hope you're still finding this series to be fun and useful. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.